Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh my lord. Can you see down there? She's quite far down. Oh, so she? she's all the way down by the sky jump. Oh my lord. <laughs> everyone welcome to the sky tower standing at 186 meters tall it is the tallest building in the southern hemisphere right here in the center of Auckland we have our tickets pre-booked online and we are ready to take the lift up to the top let's go So we are heading up to the main observation deck, which is level 51. One. Ooh. Ooh. Are you excited? Don't look down. I'm not looking down. We're in the lift. Now I've seen, oh my ears are popping now. I've seen this lift from the outside. So there must be some, ooh, look at oh, that. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Scary. Some scary stuff there, but wow, you can start to get the views of Auckland here. You can get a real perspective of how high this structure is. You sure can. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure it's all enclosed. Uh huh. Welcome. Indeed. Told you it was enclosed. And uh, the first of all, oh, no. uh, look, oh my God, it I says can't. this glass floor is 38 millimeters thick. It is as strong as the concrete floors you're standing on. Well, I won't be standing on glass. No, not a chance. <laughs> not a chance. So what are your first impressions of what you can see? Uh, we should have did this sooner. <laughs> well, you don't want to do it on a cloudy day or a day no, when there's so. torrential rain, which can happen. Well, there's information here showing you what you can actually see and the distance in kilometers to various places around the world. New York is 14,192 kilometers away. So that's what, about eight or 9,000 miles probably. So we've got the Motatapu Island in the distance. That's a volcano, isn't it, Paul? Oh, perhaps. And the, oh, that's the island over there. And this one, the Rangatoto Island, that's definitely that a volcano. Is, that is the one that That's that one over there. Active. The other island is further over here. Isn't that a Devon over there? Yes, it is. And then I think Takapuna is a up here somewhere yeah I'm not really sure where exactly it is so you can walk down onto the floor here I'm and, not going to do and then the glass <laughs> but no we'll be giving that a miss that's for sure yeah for sure do you know what this reminds me of looks like uh somewhere that we went to recently well somewhere where I went before I met you Empire State Building? No, the World Trade Center, the original oh, right. World Trade yeah. Center in New York. It was just like this with the sloping glass. I can remember that. So I don't remember going on it. From 1999. I'm kind of scared to be yeah. out here. I feel like it's not stable for some reason. Oh my god. I've got vertigo. This so is quite scary. Watches. 
I can't really look at it, so that's why I'm holding it. I am looking down and it's kind of like... It's, oh. Now can we see Mission Bay where we went to the other day? Oh. It should be over this direction. Yeah. I think it's like further along this way for some reason. Yeah, so I was right. Mission Bay and Bastion Point. Oh, two, three. That little bit jutting out. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> You can jump from the tower. In fact, there's a live feed to the jump deck. It says it's 192 meters, 53 floors down, 85 kilometers per hour, and 11 seconds of pure adrenaline. Well, I don't dispute that, but I certainly won't be doing it. Let's tune in and see. She's getting ready. This is live? Yes, there's a live feed. Oh my God, I think that I would throw up. Jesus. Does someone just push them or something? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. And then she'll fall right in front of us. Oh, wait. Oh, she's not doing it. She's scared. She's come back in. Oh, oh no. Breathing exercises. So you got a refund. <laughs> <laughs> you decide to change your mind. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Well, it looks as though it's an aborted takeoff. Oh, how oh, disappointing! Get a refund. Yeah. Maybe we should pick up the courage later. <laughs> Breaking news: Our jumper is back. Third time lucky, perhaps. I think she's just gonna go. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh! Oh my lord. Can you see down there? She's quite far down. Oh, so Where is she? she? She's all the way down by that sky jump. Walking away. Oh my lord. <laughs> Taking time to reflect, Paul? Yes, I certainly am. And I think that a good way to reflect your dedication and appreciation for our YouTube channel is to subscribe. Thank you very much in advance. So you can see Manga Kiki, One Tree Hill. It's an historic Maori name meaning mountain of the Kiki, a native vine and value weaving plant which once grew abundantly there. Today there is only a stump of the last one tree. The original Totara tree was cut down in 1852. What do you think that is there? Do you think that's where they do the window cleaning from? I wouldn't like doing this job. <laughs> Oh wow, look at this. Look how far away from home we are. Wow. Gosh, we are literally halfway around the world. That probably is Devon Point because you could get to it from the highway. Oh, right. Um, and then that's Devon Point and then I think... I'm going to have to step down here. Tecaluna is like further along. Ah, well, this is the harbour area. I can't believe we've almost walked the whole way round. I feel as though we've only taken a few steps. <laughs> Do you know what this feels like? Piccadilly Circus Tube Station, because you sort of don't realise you've walked the whole way round the but, circle of it. But 
but on a much scarier level. <laughs> well, that's debatable. <laughs> that is debatable. Because I could look down and I could get kind of um, vertigo, I guess. I now, is that NZ TV down there? Oh, it is. Or TV NZ even. Get it the right way around. That's where all the satellite dishes are. Uh, so you can see there it is. That's the headquarters of the TV. Those satellite dishes, they look small from here, but from ground level, they are absolutely enormous. So this is where our tour bus yeah. went along here. This road, I think. Well, we passed the TV station and... Did we go, go down that way or something? Yeah, something like that. But look at this over here. On the roof, there's loads of people on the, the roof over there. This building, what are they doing? Are they building a heliport or something? Engineering type stuff? Or is it a new building that's going up? There's lots of scaffolding. Extension or something. Mm. We're here on a weekday and there are a few people, but it's not overly busy. It probably gets crowded at the Sounds weekends. Good. Yeah. Night and time maybe? Perhaps, yes. It'd be interesting to come up at night time as well. But I think you've got to really come with the daytime to appreciate just how the land actually lies. This map of various structures around the world gives you some sort of perspective as to how high we are. You've got Big Ben, the Elizabeth Tower in actual fact in London at 96 metres, the Eiffel Tower at 324, here we are at the Sky Tower where we are now at 328 metres. The CN Tower 553, the Canton Tower 604, the Tokyo Skytree 634 and the Baj Khalifa 828. Now you can go higher up to the 60th floor and we are going to do that. It's called the Sky Deck. But before we leave the observation deck, we're going to take you the whole way round. Okay. And here we are. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> right, even higher up now. My ears have just popped again. For an even more spectacular view. Okay, it's quiz time. Can you guess when we light the tower red and green? Paul? I think it must be for a celebration. Any particular one? Independence Day? Well, let's see. We light the tower red and green on the 25th of December as New Zealand's largest Christmas tree. Mm. We also light it pink to celebrate Mother's Day and Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Green and yellow for Daffodil Day, rainbow for the Pride Festival, red and gold to celebrate the Lunar New Year, and red in support of the Red Cross World Heart Day, Red Nose Day, and to commemorate Anzac Day. Now you can see in the distance that there is some cloud building, a little bit of mist and fog, and apparently when the weather does close in, you can't see anything up here. It is enshrouded in fog. This is quite good art based on the tower. Here is a tower made up of teacups, bowls, Saucer. saucers, a glass and a knife. And over here, what's this? Oh, it's a paintbrush. Look. You can see through this, Paul? Yeah. You don't have to put a coin in then. Yes. So what can you see? The light. Oh, right. I can see the, the light building. 
which is over there. Yes. Oh, down there. Yeah, I could see that skyscraper over there. The one that says Vero? No, the one right in front. Oh. The one that has the bit on top with the red light. Red light? The one that's beeping. Oh. The one that's blinking. Oh, I see it, yes. Oh, <clears throat> wow. Oh, wow. Look over there. Another fabulous artwork. Not many people know why the scout sky tower <laughs> changes color, but I do. When I look out my window and it's red, I know it's for me and all the other kids at Cure Kids. When it's pink, it's for people with cancer. When it's blue, they support the blues. When it's red and green, it's for Christmas. I get to help Santa turn on the lights. So when I see the Sky Tower, I think about all the people they help. And that is from Eva, aged eight, Starship Ward 26B. Oh, Aww. isn't that cute? Thank you. Shall we take a look at the Sky Bar, Paul? Yes, I think so. Okay, let's go down. It's time to leave. Oh, the doors are closing. And we are on our way down. Are my ears gonna pop again, Paul? Did it pop the first time? Oh, it popped going up. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. Oh, look at this. We won't forget this experience, will we? We will not. Coming down to ground level, and of course, we have to do the shop. <gasps> You've got to do the gift shop, haven't you? I think that that's a must. I wonder if they sell souvenirs shaped like the tower. Maybe. Ayatora, this is the name of New Zealand. I forgot what it actually means, but we did learn about this on the sightseeing tour bus. doing the bungee jump lands at that platform right over there in black. Definitely too scary for me to do. But yeah, I think it's for those adrenaline junkies for sure. This is your favorite angle, <laughs> isn't it, Paul? Well, we have just been up there and I think at the start we said 186 meters. That is the height for the sky bar where we had our coffee, but it's 328 meters to the top. 
So what did you think of the overall experience? I think it's definitely worth it and you get a true picture of the size of the tower because it overlooks virtually everything and, and it's a panoramic view of the whole city and surrounding area. I have to say, I enjoyed this tower probably more than any of the other ones that we've mm. been to. I'm not saying that they were bad, but at the Empire State Building and the CN Tower, and also there was um, a tower at Niagara Falls we went to as well. I don't remember spending quite as long, um, but we were up there for about two hours, and it really was worth every cent.